All right. In the last lecture, we'll look at uh, extend a Python a function a list function in Python. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at pop. Our uh, pop, like you say, it's just just to, it's used to pull an item from a list. And pop has two ways of removing an item from a list. Uh, it's either you re when if you add a, a, an index uh, part to it, it removes the la the, the item on a, that particular uh, list. Otherwise, what it just does is to remove um, the last item on the list. So, pop, you can actually, using pop, you can actually remove item in two ways. And we're going to be looking at that briefly right now. Okay, I have a list uh, A is equals to A, B, C. No, 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 no. Uh, let me use number because all those um, string uh, issues, I have to put them in quotes. Otherwise, we'll have um, issues there. All right, I have a list um, A, and let's print it out to see. Oh, sorry, um, print. All right, well, I have one, three, five point six, six zero. So those are the items in that list right now. So uh, once you use pop to remove the item. To remove item in the list i'm going to be using pop to remove the last item assuming i don't really know the last i number i am item in the list and i just wanted to just remove that last particular item maybe i just want a list of item that must not exceed um a particular number so probably i use len and i discovered that uh, okay len a i discovered there are five items but i just wanted uh um um to have a list of four items which i don't bother i don't want to know what the last item on that list is so that's what pop actually does you just use uh to do that you use it that's the name of the variable now pop in bracket because it's a method all right why does it now return zero because it actually has removed zero from that list so if we print out a again let's cover that a is gone um sorry you discovered that um zero is gone as you can see we have now one three five point six and six so we're now pull out um the last item from that list but if you look closely again unlike what i showed in the last lecture where we said extend not actually return back the items um you 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 the if like i said you create a variable and you want to use that variable to capture the the list the new list you've actually um created by extending it doesn't actually capture that on the variable and that's what uh pop actually does pop can help you get the item you popped um let me have uh, let me create a variable b and equals to print no 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 not print now pop no a dot pop i'm going to still remove the last item and i hit enter so by this art now, once I do print of uh, A, C should have been gone. Then that 6 should be what will be in B. I right, print B. All right, like I said, you see, B is, B is now what? C, because the item you popped out is now being stored in B. Or like a stand where you can actually do that. You can actually save uh, the item. You also appreciate this when we come to removing item because uh pop removing item is also a, a method of list we're going to be looking at L removing item don't also uh help you get um um the item you remove from the list so the essence of this is to help you know um help you to know the particular uh, function you want to use for your particular purpose so for example if i have something that has to do it i want something that has to get the item i remove from a list i want to save it for something uh for future reference or use it somewhere else it's covered that remove wouldn't have been an option uh, but pop will be an option because i will be able to get that a particular item that i remove from the from the list and save it some way if i'm to use if i use pop but if i use remove that means it's gone and i can't get it so like i would to say you there are two ways you can uh, actually remove an item from a list using pop and i just demonstrated the first one where you just use uh, the pop without any argument on it so what that simply does as you can see so far is that it removes the last item on the list 
But now, as me, I, I want a particular object on a particular position. What we're talking about as index. The position index has to do with the position of the items in the list. Uh, if we print out, um, A again. Alright, as you can see, 6 is already gone. Uh, from this point, you see, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 6, and 6. So, but at this point where I, I popped again, I now remove 6, and 6 is out of the list. So, uh, now I now have three items in the list now. One, three, five, and five point six. Okay. Assuming now I want a particular item from a particular position to be removed from the list. I can still use pop to achieve that. And I'm still going to save it in a variable for us to also understand that irrespective of whether I add a parameter to pop or not, it's still, I can still be able to collect the item I have, I have removed from a list. So I'm going to create another variable and call it D and I'll do a dot pop. Now I want to remove the item in index, the first index now, and every first index, the first index in the list is usually zero. All right, and I hit enter, and I print uh, A. All right, as you can see, the first index, uh, the first item in the, in the first, the first item on the list is I and uh, one, which is in index zero, the first position. As you can see, it's gone, and we're now left with three and 5.6 in our list. If I print now D, to demonstrate that irrespective of how you pop out an item from a list, uh, you still have, you, you still be able to have it. As you can see, we now see we have one. So that's how we can actually remove item from a list using pop. So in the next one, we're going to still go further looking at, um, another, uh, list function called del delete.